Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Harchery. This week we're going to be taking you through exactly what you need to be looking for when you're buying a bow, whether that's your first bow or your gazillionth bow. We've got all the things you need to be looking for. Stay tuned. Just to stick with the basics for now, there's only four items you need to get started with your shooting. There's a riser, a pair of limbs, a string, and a set of arrows. Keith has kindly taken a look for us at some of the beginner to intermediate risers available now from the shops. Roll the clip. First up, and at the bottom of the pile in terms of price, is the wooden takedown bow. They do, however, feature metal bushings, if you're a family of four maybe, and you've all started at the same time, the price is quite attractive. The next riser is uh, metallic in construction, is the Core Jet die cast riser in aluminium, maximum draw weight which is 40 pounds. Uh, around the 100 pound mark uh, is the winner's Axiom paint finish, die cast riser, stabiliser bushes uh, are in a steel material. Next on our list is the Hoyt XL. Uh, this again is a painted riser and also limb alignment. The next riser on our list is also a Hoyt. Uh, this is the Formula XL. This again is a machined riser, still painted. Limbs that you would obtain for the Formula geometry would have a bush to take dampers. Next on our list is the D-Cut Basher Pro, the anodized finish being much tougher than a painted finish. The first riser in this uh, selection that is, uh, has an anodized finish, Hoyt style swivel bolt, limb alignment adjustment via uh, shims, which is uh, often regarded as uh, a very secure system. Steel long rod bush and steel bushes top and bottom. Moving on, we have the Winners Forged Plus, Elite Alpha, formerly the uh, SF Forge Plus riser, machined from extrusion and then has steel bushes top and bottom for dampers, steel bush for the long rod. Last on our list is the uh, offering from British manufacturer Mybo. We have fully adjustable limb pocket. The limb alignment system is via feed screw, easy to get fine adjustment on that. There are also some nice features like um, two holes for the clicker, marks or engravings on the uh, site window such that you can uh, position your clicker more accurately. A very capable riser indeed. Another good option when you're looking for a riser is the second hand market. As these components are really hard wearing, they're just basically machine blocks of metal, you can often find really good quality second hand risers for cheaper than what you'd buy a new beginner riser for. So it's definitely worth looking at. So once you've got the riser, what comes next? Well, I think it's limbs. When I'm looking for limbs for a beginner bow, I want something that is going to be relatively cheap because you're going to grow out of it quite quickly. If you can with limbs, it's definitely worth phoning up the shop, seeing if they've got any in stock in your poundage and length and going and trying them. They're not always going to come up how you expect them with regards to poundage. It's the length of the bow on a 25 inch riser and this is the poundage that you should get at 28 inches but they often change where that 28 inches is measured from between companies and also you should be aware that this is not the poundage that you personally will get from these limbs because it is very unlikely that your draw length is 28 inches. It's also important to note riser geometry will affect the poundage as well. Once you've got a riser and limbs, you're going to want to tie it all together with a bit of string. Please, please do not put a brass knocking point on there. Follow my link below and you can put on a nicely tied knocking point which will give you much better results. When it comes to your first string I wouldn't worry too much about getting anything special. A shop will be able to advise. Often a lot of clubs have someone in the club that makes strings. Once you're a bit more advanced I definitely advise looking at getting a custom-made string. Someone like Greg Hill or Nitro Strings 
are just a few. There's lots out there. The consistency of a custom-made string will get you those extra few points that can make all the difference when you're chasing down those PBs. Please don't put brass knocking points on them. There's a link below to a good tutorial which will show you how to put a good tied knocking point on. Riser, limb, string, you got yourself a bow. Now you're gonna need some ammo. Here's our guide to arrows. If you're just starting out, I'd look at getting something which is inexpensive, yet still has some level of quality because that's gonna be important. Something which I really like recommending to people, it always seems to get the job done, is Easton's Platinum Plus XX75 aluminum arrows. If you can afford it, get 12 of them because you'll need them. Also, while you're buying the arrows, it's well worth getting spare fletches, glue, and knocks. The knocks just push in, so they're really easy to change if you damage one, and you will damage them. And having spare fletchings and glue to repair them is handy. Once you're a bit more experienced and looking at shooting further distances, arrows like the Cartel Triple and Easton's ACC arrows are good. Their reduced weight over the aluminium arrows gives them a bit of extra speed. And then when you're really getting to the top of your game, maybe look at things like your Carbon Express Nanos or X10s from Easton. These will need setting up properly though. You can't just expect to get the best out of them through buying a load from a shop. All the components should be matched to the arrows. Maybe think about spine testing them, getting them grouped together that way, but we'll get onto that at a later date. So now you're ready to shoot. I've included a link below to a spreadsheet me and Keith have come up with, which gives you a full list of all the components that you may need extra such as bags, stabilizers, sights. If you have any questions at all about choosing equipment then let us know in the comments below. And that folks is that.